You know what I've never understood? Is why the expression, like a salty old man? Like, where did that come from? Salty old guy sitting at the bar, I mean, is someone tasting him? I don't understand. But anyway, I digress. I want to talk about salt. I want to talk about the three different kinds of salt. And the reason I'm doing this video is because so many people have asked me exactly what salt is best. And before I go any further, I'm going to ask you, if you can, please give this video a share because I'm going to drop some knowledge on you that might just help you get the most out of your salt and stop retaining water so much. Okay, three different kinds of salt I want to touch on. Iodized salt, regular table salt, okay? Himalayan salt, that cool pink stuff that's in the rock form, and then an awesome one called truffle salt. And I'm not talking about chocolate truffles. Okay, iodized salt. So back in the early 1900s, we found that people were generally deficient in iodine. And I've done other videos talking about iodine, how it affects the thyroid and the T4 and T3 production and all that. But we're not gonna go into detail there. But they started adding iodine to salt. Well, this manufactured processed salt loses almost all the nutritional value, all the minerals. It's what is called unopposed sodium. And that comes from a good friend of mine, Dr. Decker Weiss, who kind of coined that term. Okay, unopposed sodium meaning there's no other minerals there. So you just have plain old salt that's been completely denutritionalized and only has salt and some extra iodine. So what that ends up doing is causing an imbalance in your body. You don't have the potassium, you don't have the magnesium, you don't have the phosphorus, you don't have all these other minerals that you need to keep sodium opposed and balanced. So very, very unhealthy in a lot of the senses. You don't wanna be adding a lot of that. That's what's gonna make you feel puffy. That's what's gonna make you retain water. That's what's gonna make you feel pretty lethargic and raise your blood pressure in a really, really negative way. Okay, the next one is pink salt. You've seen me do videos with pink salt all the time. It's good stuff, okay? I have it in a lot of my recipes. I put it in a lot of my morning drinks and those cocktails and things like that. But there are some negative aspects of pink Himalayan salt. But first, let me tap the benefits. Super wide, abundant profile of minerals. Okay, usually looking at more than 80, or at least so it's thought, which means we're getting manganese, we're getting magnesium, we're getting potassium, we're getting iodine, all in its fairly natural form. However, we are starting to find that pink salt is now starting to be overmined. Yes, even that, we're starting to deplete the resources. But additionally, we have to import it all the way from Nepal or Tibet or any other Himalayan country to really get the benefit. You see, it's mined out of caves there. And that's a pretty limited resource. So eventually, we're going to run out of that. So when we're trying to be a little bit efficient, may not be the best route to go. But now, let's dive into the one that I find to be the best. And this is truffle salt. A lot of people don't know what truffle salt is. What it is, is it's sea salt that has little teeny bits of white and brown or black truffle in it. Just like you see those little pigs, those little boars that are always digging for the truffles, for the little fine delicacies that you have in like Italian dishes. Well, that's exactly what it is. Sea salt with little teeny specks of that. Well, the cool thing is those little chunks of truffle are what give it the most abundant mineral profile of just about anything on the planet. You see, you get these crazy high levels of iodine. You get these crazy high levels of magnesium, potassium. So they totally balance out the sodium. You can almost literally find that if you use truffle salt, you don't have as much of an issue with water retention and blood pressure as you would with iodized salt or even Himalayan salt. But to be honest, one of the best things about truffle salt is the fact that it has something called immunomodulators. You see, it actually works on inflammatory mediators and helps your body reduce inflammation. So when you look at other salts that are actually causing some inflammation in the body due to water retention and edema, you've got truffle salt that's actually doing the opposite. It's not just more balanced and helping you keep water at bay that way, but it's also helping your body reduce inflammation and boost your immune system. So right then and there, of those three, iodized salt, Himalayan salt, and truffle salt, do your best to find that truffle salt, get a little bit more of a, well, earthy taste so that you don't have to be that salty old man sitting at the bar. You can be a nice, vibrant, fresh person that's getting the minerals that you need to look and feel your best. As always, keep it locked in here on these videos. And if you like this video, give it a share and comment exactly what you'd like to see next. I will see you in the next video.